。对男性来说，长大成人象征的是能承担更多的责任，也更像一个男子汉。而对男子汉的角色期待，随着时代的转变，是否也会出现不同的定义呢？刮胡刀品牌吉列最近有一支广告，就在探讨何谓男子气概。但也引发了正反两面的热烈讨论。支持者认为，吉列鼓励男性以身作则，给予高度的评价。但也有网友批评，这个广告丑化了男性，加深了刻板印象。这是吉列三十年来的广告词。接着，镜头出现肢体跟网络霸凌，小男孩躲在妈妈怀里哭泣，性骚扰、黄色笑话，还有职场性骚扰。Making the same old excuses. Boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. But something finally changed. 当 Me Too 新闻焦点出现，自称曾经遭性侵的男星泰瑞·克鲁斯，去年六月在国会作证。Men need to hold other men accountable. Smile, sweetie. Come on. To say the right thing, to act the right way. Bro, not cool, not cool. 街头霸凌不再被漠视，小男孩的打斗被制止。Because the boys watching today will be the men of tomorrow. It is so bold. It's so inspiring. Yes, let's stop making excuses for toxic masculinity. I'm so tired of hearing boys will be boys. I'm so tired of hearing it's just locker room talk. 这支广告十三号上线后引起广大回响，推特标注自串了 Best Man Can Be， 获得不少转推。但也有人什么话都不说，只上传一段影片，将吉列刮胡刀给扔了。It's been going on far too long. I liked it. Had a good message, and no, the message is not. Oh, us guys are rapey. Us guys are just perverted. Us guys just don't care about anything but ourselves. 在 YouTube 按不喜欢的比喜欢还多，底下留言也批评居多。What they wanted was we can have haters, we can have people that love this ad. We just want people talking about it, and we want the brand to be relevant again. And this is the best way that we see. To to do that, to accomplish that, a lot of times you see brands trying to take a stand for issues that people feel are important.、Um, we've seen it with like Nike; they had Colin Kaepernick, and they were talking about racial equality, and that that garnered a lot of backlash because people felt, you know, it's not Nike's place to have this conversation. And I think you're seeing that again with Gillette. People are kind of feeling like, why is a razor brand telling me how to live my life? 有行销顾问专家认为，吉列的这支广告出发点是鼓励正向，却花太多时间铺露男性遭诟病的行径，导致男性觉得被边缘化，沦为众矢之的。面对网友两极化反应，吉列表示不会撤下广告。记者黄韵玲报道。